explain the difference between character stuffing and bit stuffing. Link layer before sending out the data divides the data into frames. The concept of character stuffing and bit stuffing comes into picture when the data to be sent is divided into frames. Character stuffing, <coughs> also known as byte stuffing, is performed when the data is cut into frames. Now, for making the frames, RC characters are used as framing delimiters. There are two types of RC characters that are used, the DLE STX is the starting character and the DLE ETX is the end delimiter. So for example, when a data is being divided into frames, the frames that are actually getting transmitted over the link layer would look something like this. One of the most common, commonly asked questions is that what if an ASCII character of the type DLE occurs in the data? This can be resolved by using the escape sequence. So if the DLE ASCII character actually occurs in the data, then your frame would look something like this. Obviously the DLE STX at the beginning and then somewhere in the data you have frames. This is your actual data and there is some data over here and say the DLE ASCII character pretend the data occurs in this place. This data would be preceded by another DLE character in the, previous, in, the, in the previous slot. And then the data continues over here and it ends the DLE ETX. Now this frame when received at the receiver's end would be read something as follows. So the receiver would look at the data in the frame and whenever it encounters two back to back DLE it understands that this is an escape sequence and the one DLE that occurs is actually a part of the data and is not the end of the frame. And this is how this can be resolved. The second type of stuffing that we are looking over here is bit stuffing. Bit stuffing is seen in the PPP which is called the point to point protocol. When the point to point protocol is being used, 
the frames that are sent contain a flag field the value of a flag field of the flag field in the frames that are being sent in the point to point protocol is fixed and that value is 0 1 1 1 the question is what if such a value occurs in the actual data that is being sent the point to point protocol defines a special control escape byte and the special control escape byte is Zero one 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 zero one. So whenever a value that is equivalent to the flag field, which defines the end of the frame, occurs in the data, the point-to-point -point protocol uses the special control escape byte so that this value of flag field is not confused as the end of the frame and is read as the data so for example if user a is sending the data like this and the value of flag field occurs somewhat like this over here so the data that would be seen on the link layer this is your link layer the data that would be seen would be something like this b5 b4 and the P2P protocol puts the escape character or the escape byte over here so now when this frame is received, is received the point to point protocol on the receiver's end knows that the value, the byte value over here is not a flag value and does not define the end of the frame but is in fact a part of the data and that is done with the help of the special control escape byte and therefore the data would be read like this in case a byte which is equivalent to the escape character or the escape byte occurs in the data the escape byte can be written twice back to back and that's how the data is transmitted and the problem is resolved so this is what we call as bit stuffing there is a similar numerical problem and let us try and solve it over here perform the bit stuffing for the following sequence so the sequence that we are given looks something like this I'm just dividing the words into into eight bits or a word of one byte each so that it is easier to visualize as you may see that the flag field occurs in the data so this is actually the data and not the flag field so now when the sender sends out the data let's name these bytes this is b1 b2 
and again we'll be using this so let's call this b3 so when the sender sends out the data it would be in this form p1 p2 the data goes through the P2P protocol on the sender side and on the link layer the way this data would be seen is something like P1 followed by P2 and now comes your special escape byte which is 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, followed by your byte that is equivalent to the flat field, followed by B3. So now when this data reaches the receiver's end, the P2P protocol on the receiver's end would know because of the existence of the special control escape character that the byte followed by this control escape character is actually not a flag field but is the data. So the data would be read as B1, B2, and that is how you can perform the, the pitch stuffing on the given data.